Alive and Kicking from Mr. Big's second album, Lean Into It, released 1991. Funny, funny story on that. I read once uh, Paul Gilbert, I think they were at Soundcheck, and he was tuning his, uh, his B string up and Billy Sheen sort of stops and says, hey, you know, what was that? And, it, you know, they jam on it and it becomes the sort of you know, the main riff to this song, which is fun. Um, it is in standard tuning key of G, um, sort of a, a G, G minor. Um, and the chords, the chords are kind of tricky as we as we uh, we get into the main part. The bass is really outlining um, a G uh, to an F to a C, um, but the chords that Paul Gilbert's doing again is kind of based off that little, you know, mistake or you know when they were when they were tuning. So um, you're going to be concentrating on the D, G, and B strings, um, and the first one you're going to hit the uh, two strings open G and B, and the D string you're going to hit the B flat the eighth fret and you're going to bend it up to the uh, to the ninth fret okay and that's the main riff so you're going to kind of be quite precise on that um, and you're going to be hitting those three strings always um, then we're going to come in hit G okay so it's to the G F open so it's five three zero on the D string again the uh, G and B strings are open. That's the first part. Next part when the bass again is articulating the F, the F major chord. And um, we've got a bit of a stretch here, so pinky keep that on the B flat. Second finger hit the F, which is on the sixth fret B string. And then at first so you're going to be open G and then bring on the C on the fifth fret. Uh, with your first finger there, fifth fret G string. Okay, then we're going to slide up from four to five, uh, a little dyad there, so up uh, fifth fret at D and G strings, three zero. Okay. The last chord, when again the bass is articulating a C, you're going to drop that second finger that's on the F to an E. So you're going to be hitting B flat on the uh, seventh fret, sorry, eighth fret, open G, fifth fret on the B, first finger, and then afterwards you'll bring your C in fifth fret as well. And then the same uh, bit at the end there. Okay, a bit complicated there. The chords you can't really name them. They're really, I think they came together. Paul was, you know, obviously finding something around that riff, but it works really, really well. So again, the chords you're outlining are G, F, and C. I'll play it again quite slowly. On the G. When you're on the F. When you're on the C. the G. Okay, that is the, uh, the chorus and also the intro. Uh, same chords for the verse are played a little bit differently, slightly cleaner, sound almost volume roll back. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that verse, as I said, same chords there, but it's uh, a cleaner sound. So I'm playing all, everything with these three fingers. You could do it with thumb and those things, uh, those two fingers if you wanted, but I just keep the pink in my hand and I do it all with uh, with these three, okay? So same thing, bending the eighth up to the ninth fret. Okay. Same chord here, but you're gonna alternate between the lowest note and the high two. slowly. Next part. Okay, hitting the two strings and then the bass. Okay, that's the verse. Let's look at now at the pre-chorus. Okay, the pre-chorus, we're back to um, a more distorted sound, a heavier sound, and we're gonna be playing C sus4 to a C, 
D sus4 to a D. Okay, one hit on the sus4, two hits on the regular chord. So it's a regular C bar chord, pinky on the sixth fret there, and on D, regular D bar chord, pinky on the eighth fret there, okay? That last part there, hit the D bass note once, slide from seven up to nine, that's the E up to the F sharp. Then two frets on the seven. It's kind of the top of a, a D power chord. The seventh fret uh, D, seventh fret G, that is the, the A and the D. Okay. That last part there, they go up to an F sus2, up on the eighth fret. Uh, it is um, eight, nine, eight, ten, ten, eight, eight, okay? Okay, on beat four, so one, two, three, four. On beat one, uh, hold that for a bar. Second bar, come in, uh, picking down from the top note. Back into the chorus. Okay, after the second chorus, they stay on that F sus2 uh, twice as long. Okay, the picking uh, is, a, is a little bit different. Then they're back into the chorus, and then they're into um, that riff that Billy and Paul share before the guitar solo. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that bridgey type of section where Paul and Billy are doing the dual uh, bass and guitar riff there. It goes into to the key of E, and we're um, you're thinking of it, uh, I suppose it's an E Dorian. We're gonna be starting with the bottom string, open E string, to the fifth fret, the D on the A string, and then pull off the G on the bottom string to, uh, to open. Okay, then we're gonna go to fourth fret C sharp uh, on the A string, hit it once and pull it off to open A, and then again, pull G off to open E. Okay. That's that bit. Next bit is a run. You're going down a E minor blues scale. Um, I don't exactly know where Paul's doing it. I started ninth fret on the G string and fretted it like this. Okay, again, down the E minor blues. So E to D, and then B, B flat A, G, so that's three fingers in a row there, and then skip. Skip a fret and go down to, so it's uh, a nine, eight, seven, and then five. Then uh, E to D, seven to five. Same thing as you played up here. Okay. Second time round. The E7 sharp nine, AKA Jimi Hendrix chord. Um, you have nine, seven, sorry, seven <laughs> frets. I don't even call frets out. Uh, seven, six, seven, eight. Okay, E7 sharp nine. Hit that twice and then hit a pinch harmonic on the D natural there, seventh fret on the G string. All right, let's play that all together. <laughs> Last one. Paul's shredding part there, I have no idea what he was playing. I just play, tried to play something fast, as long as you're ending up on the E. Then, okay, so that's uh, E minor pentatonic, so we're 14, 12. 14, 13, 12, blue scale. Slide down to 10 and then finish on the E. 12th fret. Then he hits a flanger, a phaser sort of thing, which I didn't set up. Um, and then he's into the guitar solo. Let's have a quick look at the guitar solo. Okay, starts off with a harmonic run. He's basically doing a sequence, a pattern 
on the fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret harmonics, moving from the low E all the way up. He ends with, on that high uh, uh, fifth string, sorry, fifth fret on the high string harmonic. So those sorts of things. Again, quite, quite a tricky one there, especially at speed, Paul's technician is, is incredible. Um, and then we go into a minor uh, pentatonic. So we're in, we're in E uh, as coming out of that bridge part where they do the unison thing, him, uh, him and Billy, they are, they're in E. So that's where the solo is. Because after you do that harmonic run, you're going to do a very sort of typical minor pentatonic um, pinky on the 15th fret and the third finger on the 14th fret. Okay. Then you're going to bend up the octave 15 up to uh, 12. Okay. Do that once. All the minor blues there, so nothing sort of too fancy. Then he hits two, um, fourths on the fifth fret, A and D, seventh fret. Okay, hits a E minor pentatonic. It's good to know your pentatonics all over the neck, because here. So we're bending up slightly on the seventh fret D string. And then hitting the E on the ninth fret. So. Oops. That pinch is sometimes tricky to get. And then he's sliding up uh, 11 and 12 on the D and E string. Slide it up one and do it again. Okay. Bend on the G string, 14th fret. Up a full step and then bend up on the 15th to the octave again and tap on the, uh, what's that, the 19th, 18th fret um, as you've bend it up and release and let go. Whew, okay, that's the solo in E minor, minor blues. Typical, again, Paul Pickle, but he's so clean when he's fast. Really tricky to play. Okay, coming out of the guitar solo, we're into uh, a bit of a breakdown. Same chords as you have in the verse, but they're really, um, you know, third fret, fifth fret, to open, and then bend up that F on the third fret D string a little bit, and then hit open G again. Okay, and then come back up to the, again, that tension of the B flat against the B, and then you bend it up to, to resolve that tension, it's really nice. Okay, after you've done that one time, there's a little sixth run. Okay, you're doing six, so it is 11th fret, D and B, 10th fret, and then down to the uh, eighth fret. And then back to that kind of main riff again. Okay, after that, they're doing uh, similar to the verse. and then they're back to, to, the, to the chorus. A little bit of sort of um, lead stuff at the end before they finish. But those are the main sections of Mr. Big Alive and Kicking from 91's Lean Into It. Good luck. See you next time.